Understanding Cliffs and Talons, a dive into English idioms. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore an interesting English phrase, cliffs and talons. This phrase isn't a common idiom, but understanding its components can help us dive deeper into the beauty of the English language. Let's unravel the mystery together. First, let's talk about cliffs. A cliff is a steep rock face, often found along a coast or at the edge of a mountain. In literature and everyday language, cliffs are used metaphorically to represent danger, challenges, or a critical point in a situation. Think about phrases like, on the edge of a cliff, it suggests being in a risky or decisive situation. Now, on to talons. A talon is the sharp claw of a bird of prey, like an eagle or a hawk. In English, talons symbolize strength, precision, and sometimes danger or control. The use of talons in phrases often highlights the power and precision of an action, like in the talons of justice. When we put the two words together, cliffs and talons, it's not a standard idiom, but we can interpret it creatively. This phrase could symbolize a scenario involving both danger and power. Imagine a bird of prey perched on the edge of a cliff. There's the precariousness of the cliff and the power in the bird's talons. It's a vivid image that can be used to describe a situation that is both risky and controlled. Cliffs and talons might be used in literature to convey a sense of drama or significant challenge. For example, a character facing a cliff and talons situation might be at a pivotal point, having to navigate dangerous circumstances with skill and power. In everyday speech, though, it's less likely to be used, as it's not a recognized idiom. I hope this exploration into the phrase, cliffs and talons, has been intriguing and enlightening. English is a rich and diverse language, full of unique phrases and metaphors. Remember, understanding the individual words in a phrase can often unlock its broader meaning. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.